Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Scenes at Southern Balance. Today I'm going to make one of my license plate signs and I'm going to invite you to follow along. You might want to make one of these at home. They're pretty easy to make and they're also very profitable. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see if we can get it started. Okay. We're going to get some wood out. I've already got my wood pre-cut. I sell these quite a bit, so uh, this wood is already pre-cut. Okay guys, as you can see I have my wood already primed and painted. Uh, normally when I get it I buy a full sheet. It's cabinet grade wood. I will uh, paint the entire thing, prime it and then paint it and then I cut it up into strips of six inches wide and it's eight feet long. So I saw a lot of these so that's why I prepare so many pieces at once. Anyway, this is how we're going to get it going. Okay, so I already have all my letters cut up. You can already see them in the bins. Uh, I make these all year round. I've been making these for years, so when I'm cutting license plates, I cut all I have at the time, or at least most of what I have. Okay, so this might not be the most appropriate uh, sign, but this is what sells, and this is what I sold this past weekend, so I'm just trying to replace it. Okay, so after we pull all of our uh, letters, now we're going to pull the spacing. Okay, after the spacing, now we're going to pull some end caps. And you can see how many license plates I've cut up through the years, so we're going to pull some end caps. Let's see what we got. Okay guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to pick this up, we're going to go wash all of these plates. Well, let's do that now. Okay, so after we've washed everything, now we're just going to put it out for a few minutes to dry. Just takes a few minutes in the sun. Okay, so we have all of our letters washed. Uh, now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to straighten them out. So we're going to get an anvil and we're going to get a uh, hammer. So let's do that now. Okay. So license plates come with this like a uh, little bit of a lip on here. So we need to take that lip out. We're just going to just straighten them out real fast. Okay, so once we have all of the license plates uh, flat on the ends, you can see they had a little bit of a lip on the end. Well, we straightened all those out. So once we've done that, we're going to just kind of lay them out. We're going to make sure that they're all the same height. <clears throat> Normally, anything that is embossed is going to be slightly longer than the flat plates. That's what I've discovered. So you're going to have to just trim those down a little bit. I don't know if you can see that difference, but... The ones with the the ones with the lip hang off of the wood. I don't know if you could see that. Just a little bit further than what the other one is. So we're gonna trim those back. So the way we're gonna do that is we're going to take a speed square. We're gonna put it on here. We're going to leave a little bit of spacing at the top. I know it's really hard to see this, guys, and I apologize about that, but, you know, when you're working by yourself and you can't 
hold the camera at the same time. I apologize. I'm just gonna we're gonna scribe it at the bottom. So if you can see that, I've made a little bit of a a mark. I don't know if you you can focus in on that. There's a little bit of a mark. So we're not not the indention, but there's a little scratch in there, and that's that's called scribing. So we're gonna cut that off. So now it's going to be the same, the same height as the other one, okay? So we're going to do that to each one of these. <clears throat> so the end caps that I'm using are also slightly larger than the board. Uh, it's only because these come off of the embossed plates. If these were off the flat plates, then they would fit exact. And being that I have more flat plates than I do embossed plates, that's why I cut the board to fit the flat plates. But in this case, we're using from the embossed plates, so we're going to have to just trim the corners a little bit and still make it look round. Okay, so once we have all of our plates hammered flat and we have them all trimmed, now we're going to lay it out so we can make sure the colors look good together. So let's see what we got. Okay, so once we have the word laid out and we see the colors go well together, there's not two of the same letters together, so we're going to start uh, putting them onto the board. So the best way to do that is to not, not get the end cap first, but you're actually going to get the first letter of your word first and you're going to put it towards the edge. You're going to line that up. You're going to make sure that that first letter is straight. But you're going to also make sure that you have room for the end cap right at the edge. Guys, if you don't get your first letter straight, then the, the whole rest of the sign, no matter how short or how long it is, it's not going to come out straight. So the first letter is actually going to be your most important letter. So after you have that lined up, we're going to get our brad nail gun. So we have good spacing. So we're just going to hold that in place. I know it's hard to see with my hands there, but i got to hold it down. Okay. So once we have the first letter down, now we're going to come back and we're going to put the end cap on. Okay, now we're just going to go letter by letter. So as you can see, I'm only putting one brad nail per letter until I get my sign laid out, and then I'm going to come in and fill, fill them in. <clears throat> Again, I realize this isn't the most appropriate sign, but uh, this is what I sold this weekend. I actually sold two of these this weekend. So I need to replace what's sold. Uh, if you want to see some pictures, feel free to go to my Facebook. You can find me at Southern Balance Houston. And if you happen to look at the weekend of um, the first weekend in November, then you'll see the woman. She actually bought four of my signs from me. So on occasion, uh, you're going to run into something like this where you can see that they didn't exactly line up. I don't know if you can see there's just a little bit of a gap right in here. So the reason why I only put one brad nail in is because, and I don't know if I can do this on camera, but we can try. Uh, we're going to, it looks like I'm going to need two hands to do this. Let's see. Okay. Let me face it this way. Maybe you can see it. Okay. Sorry that that's upside down, but. Okay, so we're going to lift this one up a little bit. We're going to get...
Okay guys, so what we've done is we've lifted this plate up just a little bit and we've slid the four underneath it, but we've made it even up here at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my awl and I'm going to scribe this while we have it lined up with the speed square. And I'm going to make a line down here. Okay, and if I cut that line, then my, my letter will line up perfectly straight. Okay. So if you can see that, there's just a little bit left over right here. So we're just going to trim that little edge off right there. So let's do that now. We're just going to file it down a bit. So now when we line that up, you can see that uh, the letters now sit very flat and they're very even now. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that our letter is straight with the speed square. And we're going to put a couple more brad nails in there. Okay, so once we have the whole word laid out, now we're going to go back in. We're going to fill in all the bread nails that we skipped along the way. Okay, so once we have all the letters on, we have everything brad now down, now we're going to cut the board off right here. So let's go do that. Okay, so we're going to cut the board off, line the blade up, get it pretty close to the edge, but you don't want to hit the metal, so that's pretty important. Okay, let's do that now. Okay, you can see how that looks. Well, let's go finish it up. Okay, so we're going to take these corners and we need, we need to round them just like license plates. Okay, so once we've rounded our corners, now we're going to make sure this is nice and smooth. So we're going to get a file and then file it in. That, that's going to put everything at the exact same height and make sure that there's no, there's no rough edges. Okay, so now that we have all the letters brad nailed on and we've filed down the whole thing we've even sanded the corners now we're going to mark the middle so what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over which makes this the top and we're going to measure it once we have the middle we're going to mark a line so once we have the middle marked and we've already measured for our hanging bracket now we're going to go put our name on it Ok, 
Okay guys, so I finished the sign up. I'm going to stain it. I went ahead and I made two more while we were off camera. Uh, they're not exactly appropriate, but uh, I will show those to you at the end of the video. But for now I'm going to stain. Normally when I stain I would use a brush, but when I make my license plate signs I actually like to use a little piece of a rag. And I do that because trying to get into this grain with a brush is very hard and it really makes a mess on the front. But when I use a rag, I can uh, control it a lot better and I can go around all the edges. So let's do that now. So again, when I use a rag, I can control this a lot better because when I use a brush it becomes very very sloppy and you can see it is coating it but it leaves some areas that are not getting stained so when I use a rag I can put a little bit more stain on there and sort of just blot it in again it's, it's just very controlled Okay, so after we've stained it, we're going to add several coats of polyurethane, but we're going to start out with one coat, we're going to let it dry, and then we're going to add one or two more coats to that. Okay, so we've got each one with a coat of stain and a coat of polyurethane. I'm going to let that dry and possibly tomorrow or the next day I'm going to put another coat or two on them. And you can see they come out shiny. They look really good. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you these hanging in my shop. Okay guys, this is going to be the completed version of the license plate signs that I made the other day. Let me show them to you now. As you can tell, the back of them came out very, very shiny. They're all sanded, stained with polyurethane twice. If you see a bit of a glare on them, that's just my pendant lights shining in the background. It's not like little dots just going across your screen or your eyes or anything. But you can see they're really, really nice. So this is what the completed version of them say. This is for somebody who's like a really good fisherman, fisher person to be politically correct. This is the one actually that I built on camera, okay? Being that that sells very well, I built a little bit more of a colorful version of that. And you can see this one. They all sell really well. I sell these quite a bit. So usually when one sells, I'll usually replace it with the same thing. Sometimes I get inspired to make something different. Uh, as you can tell, the edges are really nice and smooth to the touch on each one. They're all really smooth. Uh, you can also tell that the gaps in between the letters are really, really tight just from the way that I you know, put my time into them. So I still have to add hanging brackets to the back of each one of those, but I'm going to be hanging them. They're all going to be for sale in my shop, actually starting this weekend. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I do hope that you've enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to follow me on Facebook under Southern Balance Houston. If you want to come shopping with me, I'm open at Traders Village in booth 266 and 268. I don't know that I'll always be here, so in case that I'm not here one day, if I just happen to disappear, feel free to email me if there's something in the background that you might be interested in. Uh, you can email me anytime at southernbalance at hotmail.com and please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'd, I'd appreciate the support. I really would. Uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching.